Hi Taurus, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is how your uh, this is your how the other person feels about you reading. For Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, this reading may or may not resonate with you. So do please check your other signs if you need more clarity. If you would like a personal reading, please go to moonpietarot.com and book your personal reading there. Or you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and request a reading from me there. I can have it for you within 24 hours. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Moon Pie Tarot for daily guidance. Okay, so uh, I am using the Vampire Tarot to clarify a little gift from my son who said, Mom, you better use these cards because I always get you stuff and you never use the stuff I get you. So if you're watching, my dear, I am using it. Um, so this reading will be for those of you, and I'm just going to keep it really simple. I don't know what your situation is. It can apply to everything and everyone. But this is for, you're watching this for someone that you have on your mind, foremost on your mind, okay? Whomever that is for you. So let's get started with your reading. And I'm just going to shuffle and pull the cards as we go. So the messages you could be receiving from this person at some point, they may be letting go of control issues or they may be wanting you to let go of a control issue. It says, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Clarified by the Empress. So this person... Um, I feel like when the Empress is in the reverse, you know, she could just be ugh, very uh, clingy and not able to take care of herself or she's unable to do things on her own. Um, and she can be very controlling at times. Now, this could be this person that you're dealing with could be this way male or female um, and they may be needing to let go of their control issues or the things that are going on with them or they're saying this to you okay if you, if you have control issues temperance in reverse a lack of balance disharmony and this could be something that they could be saying to you that there's some type of situation there's maybe too much control in this relationship and they either want you to let go or they're going to tell you that they're just giving up okay now in the position of how they feel about you is the deception card so they feel like you're not being truthful with them that you are keeping some kind of secret or you're uh, lying to them about something and the knight of wands in the reverse uh, they could feel like you are having an affair or that you are being uh, you know the knight of wands when he's in the upright sometimes can be like someone it's a sexual card or it's a card about, you know, someone who's like kind of that player energy or someone who just rushes in and rushes out. And in the reverse, it's like they're really just very negative. And they could feel like that's your energy, that you you are just not taking things seriously or, or you're just, they feel like you're hiding something, maybe about um, a fire sign, someone who's a fire sign. Someone could be in their 30s. I don't know why they have that suspicion. And then the Seven of Cups in the upright. You could be dealing with someone who is really... Uh, the Empress in reverse, you could be very jealous or you know controlling or possessive. Um, this person could be telling you this about yourself or um because they or they or they think that you are they, this they think you're messing around or that you have too much on your plate or that you're you know you're you're dating other people behind their back or you know if you're involved with them 
or that you are just not, you're wearing like a false mask, that you're saying one thing, but you're doing another, okay? Now, what's going on in their, their thought process is they want to separate. This is what they're thinking. They, 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 you know, they want to just pull the plug. The seven of wands in the reverse. They don't even want to, you know, they don't want to. It's too overwhelming for them. They feel injured in their, in their mind, like their ego. It's like their ego is bruised. Why are all these cards coming up in reverse? And the chariot in reverse is not moving forward. So I feel like this person just doesn't want to move forward. Yet, at the same time, their behavior is, you know, they feel like you're the one for them. <laughs> so it's really crazy. They may have, like, these false ideas that they may just be thinking these things that you're cheating or that you're you know not taking them seriously yet they're still crazy about you and the six of cups so this could be someone you know you could be dealing with someone from your past they think of you very highly but for some reason they're just being they just have this energy where they think that you're messing around or you're not being truthful or you're not being honest with them and the nine of swords in the reverse it's like restlessness extreme anxiety whomever this person is that you're dealing with uh, is really having a hard time now in the position of what's external to them is you you're in love with this person and this is the, like the one for you. And, and I feel like they are feeling that way about you, but there's just this lack of trust. And you are trying to really just detach from this toxic energy or this negative energy that they're put, spewing forth towards you. Because I don't really feel like you're doing anything. You know, you're in love with this person and you're, you know, trying to be the best you can be, but they have a trust issue, okay? And for you, it's, it just seems extremely toxic. And it's like you just don't want to take a risk with them because right now, during this time, because of the energy that they're throwing your way. So the outcome is reconciliation, which is interesting. Um... Either you're reconciling with someone from your past. I mean, either they're reconciling with someone from the past. That could be the reason why they're starting trouble. Or you could be reconciling with them or uh, rec you know, reconciling this relationship and straightening things out. But having difficulty gaining that passion back again because of maybe what has occurred. Both of you. And the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is, you know, not having your wishes come to fruition. Or just reconciling about all this junk that's happening here. And saying, you know, we got to talk. We need to talk. And this Nine of Pentacles energy is like, I'm not happy. You know, so I feel like, I actually just want to pull another card. I feel like there will be a, an opportunity to manifest something new and positive in this relationship or in this situation with the magician here. But I just feel like there's, there's going to be like this reconciliation at some point, even if this happened way in the past or if this resonates back then for you. I feel like there's, there will be some kind of reconciliation to set things straight. I don't necessarily feel like things will get back off, well, things will take off. I, I feel like there will be a bit of a delay because 
you may be just feeling like this person is just very just they're not being they're giving me trouble and I'm not feeling it you know but there is an opportunity even if it's you know even if there's reconciliation with other people you know it may not go that well because it's for the wrong reasons you know because both of you have this love for each other but the behavior is very toxic so you will have to sort of wait and see how that plays out between the two of you I think there's just a lot of energy here there's things that need to be sort out somebody you know this other person thinks that you're trying to pull the wool over their eyes and I don't feel like you are and for those of you that have done that you know um, for whatever the reason is there's still that love between the two of you and there has to be some kind of there will be some type of an opportunity to make things right it won't go as you wish or as you planned but this is just going into into uh so say like the middle of november into towards the end of november something could change but for at this point there's there will be some type of communication about maybe a lack of passion or someone's lost the passion because of all this that's happened or someone is just detaching and and you know if we're going to fix this we need to really try to start something new here or try to make something happen because either what that person is thinking about you is untrue or they have a fear or something along those lines or they have a control issue and they need to let go okay Tara so that's your reading if you, uh, again, wish for a personal reading, just go to MoonPyTarot.com or download the Instant Go app and look for Moon Pie Tarot on there. I can get that to you within 24 hours. Okay, I hope you have a nice month. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.